Hey there, and welcome back to my channel where we do talk all things true crime. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome to the channel. If this isn't your first time here and you're a returning titan, welcome on back for yet another upload. I do appreciate you guys joining me for each video. I hope you appreciate today's case coverage, and if you do, I hope you'll consider subscribing and hitting the like button and commenting your thoughts below. So I want to actually bring this up here. I always forget to do that um, so you can see who we're talking about here. And I do want to put a trigger warning. This article may have a picture of a deceased male hand. So I want to make that a big trigger warning for you guys. Um, but this isn't, and if you don't want, if you can't watch this video because of that, I understand completely. I completely understand. Um, this is a new case though that I wanted to go over with you guys. And if you want to know more about this case or you want to stay up to date with the latest updates, then please comment below. And if there's a good amount of comments and likes and this gets good engagement, I'll cover this case. So body parts of a missing influencer were found on two different days, some inside of a suitcase as police searched for him in Buenos Aires. He was actually found by little kids playing. El Paz reported Wednesday that Fernando Perez Algaba's torso and head were the latest remains to be discovered after his arms and his legs were located inside a suitcase in a stream Sunday. He was shot before he was dismem dismembered. The 41-year-old crypto influencer was reported missing July 19th after failing to return the keys that, to a rental apartment he had in the Argentine capital. I'm going to go ahead and read over this article for a better understanding of what's going on and give you guys a little bit more details. So, um, and then this is the picture here. It is blurred out here. I don't know if it's blurred out once we go down a little further. So that is the hand with the green arrow. And this is him pictured beside. It says, police have launched a murder investigation after the dismembered remains of missing millionaire Fernando Perez Algaba, 41, were discovered by a group of children in Argentina over the weekend. The grisly case came to light after the kids found a red suitcase filled with body parts while playing by a stream in the town of Enguero, um, Bulge, Buenos Aires province on Sunday, Jane Press reported. The children's parents notified the Buenos Aires police who inspected the package and reportedly found the victim's legs and forearm also, discovering another whole arm in the stream. On Wednesday, authority discovered the missing head and torso. The body parts were cleanly amputated, suggesting the work of a professional, local media reported. Meanwhile, a subsequent autops autopsy revealed that the victim had been shot three times before the dismemberment. Police identified Algaba by his fingerprints and also by distinctive tattoos on the body parts. The entrepreneur had been declared missing since last Tuesday. The businessman had accumulated millions renting luxury vehicles and selling cryptocurrency, which he frequently advertised to his 900,000 followers on Instagram. The influencer who lived in Barcelona, Spain, had reportedly been staying in Argentina for a work for for a week prior to his alleged murder. Algaba had reportedly rented an apartment and was supposed to return the keys on July 19th, but failed to show up or answer the phone, according to testimony by the property owner. And here's the hand, sorry. Police have arrested one suspect in connection with Algaba's death, and while the motive behind the alleged murders remains unclear, authorities suspect that the influencer was killed over his numerous debts. This marked a tragic end for the businessman, known by friends as Lettuce, who started working at the age of 14. I started with the bicycle in a box, and I started selling sandwiches, said Algaba, who reportedly graduated to buying vehicles to repair and resell. The budding entrepreneur's dedication allegedly paid off as he, was, he had a large warehouse full of high-end cars, motorcycles, and jet skis by the time he was 24. And now the picture I'm going to show you, it's extremely graphic. It is of a deceased, dismembered hand to show the tattoos. That's what they have it here for. So it's very disturbing. Um, and you know, it's, it's just, I'm going to try to keep it on the there. So, 
Um, Algaba subsequently founded a luxury car and um, jet ski rental firm in Miami before picking up and moving to Barcelona earlier this year. During his final years, Algaba was involved in trading cryptocurrency from an off office in Buenos Aires with over 25 employees. However, the moneymaker's seeming rags to riches story was not all what that it seemed. Algaba had racked up irrecoverable debts with Argentina's tax agency while his company Motors Lettuce CRL began bouncing checks less than a year after its January 2018 incorporation. Algaba had also left a note on his phone claiming that he lost a lot of money investing in crypto. Algaba's troubles weren't limited to the business sphere. He had reportedly run afoul at the Barra, Barra Bravas, a violent gang heavily involved in Argentina's soccer scene, which reportedly demanded that he pay them a $40,000 loan. If something happens to me, everyone is already warned, he wrote in a message. Algaba's brother, Rodolfo Perez Algaba, said he wasn't sure if his deceased sibling was involved with the, with the criminal ring, but insists that he was not a scammer, as many had alleged, allegedly claimed. The brother reportedly claimed that Algaba was simply a car salesman who did not do well in Bitcoin. Rod um, his brother also noted that when he was 17, their father died and left an inheritance that Algaba used to start their business, hinting that the influencer didn't go from poor to posh, as he seemed to suggest. He also reported Lee had not seen the vehicle hawker for more than three months following an argument, claimed that Algaba had been under a psychiatric treatment for an anxiety disorder. His brother ultimately hopes that authorities can apprehend his brother's killer. I've been there for three days and hardly slept, thinking, breaking my head, how could this happen, he declared. But I'm not going to sit still. I'm not going to, to do justice. I'm, I'm not going to do justice in my own hands, but I hope that justice will be done. You know, I'll go ahead and put another picture of, um, sorry, I'll move back. let's just, um, oh, I don't want to put that picture, but I'll put this one up of him. Can't really see it, but that's okay. But anyways, guys, um, I just wanted to, bring this story to you guys. I wanted to cover this. If you guys are interested in this case, it seems like it's going to be pretty um, interesting to say the least. Body parts found, children found them in a reservoir where there's trash and just dirt and debris. And then his autopsy findings, we could go over that. There's There may be a gang involved in this. I mean, it's a lot. It's a whole lot. But he is from, um, he is from Miami. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below, and maybe we could cover this story um, if you guys want me to. Um, thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.